and a series of residential communities are linked by a bus route which goes through the centres of those communities. And at each centre is a bus stop. The bus stop is at the local shopping centre. So there's a, a link uh, between the major shopping centre and the minor shopping centre. The schools are also located at the, near, at the centre points so that um, if you happen to go to a school in a different community, you can also go by bus. And everyone in each of these communities is within walking distance of their local shop and of the bus stop and of the school. In fact, there is a walking module that is the starting point of this town that facilities are planned within walking distance. When they're outside that distance, well, you have to go by public transport along the figure of eight route, or you go by car if you wish. But the principle of the car in, its, uh, in the way it's ar arranged within the structure is that it should be, have its main movements outside the town. It should, there should be not, no through traffic. The roads are outside. They have their feeders in to each community. And in the middle is a town park. The style of the architecture we have here is very largely dictated by the site. The central of the, of the town, as you know, is this large rock with the ruins of the castle on it. And we very consciously made a decision that we would keep all of the buildings fairly low in relation to that. And also relate their colours and textures to the old sandstone colours of the, of the rock. Hence the housing that you see around here on Horton Brow is in a, a brown brick precisely chosen to match in with the colour of the old sandstone up here. Similarly, on other housing development, we've kept a very simple vocabulary of materials because we feel the most important aspects of this sort of development are the quality one can put into the landscaping and the importance of the people themselves. Is it not too expensive to care so much about architecture? Good architecture is a good investment. Do you think it pays off in the long run? Oh, indeed. I think the up-to-date, uh, about getting on for £100 million has been spent on Runcorn. Half of that money has come from private sources. If it wasn't good value, it, we wouldn't have got money from private sources.